Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and we're going to be doing a lineup construction video for the UFC card for today. And again, for those of you that follow uh, my videos, you will know that these are these are three parts of UFC uh, content. The first is basically going over DFS, who the best plays are. The second is kind of more of a fun kind of mind exercise dealing with uh, the contrarian betting breakdown. And this is where we completely focus on how to build lineups to win the hundred thousand dollars. I mean, basically, uh, how do you saber sim and the tools at our disposal to put together not just you know we know who the best plays are, and I'll go over that if you want. Um, we already went over who the best plays are, but even though we know who the best plays are, you don't just put in the six best plays to try to win the hundred thousand dollars because that's what everybody's going to try to do, you know. So. We have these tools at our disposal. We can. Uh, there are some tricks. There are some contest sims we could we could we could uh, we could try out. And this is kind of a, a a continuing quest for me to figure out the best way to do this, and hopefully uh, teach you guys uh, my findings along the way. So the first thing that we did is we did up upload our custom projections to SaberSim and our custom ownerships. And I will say this that the. The Davis ownership might be a little low, um, but we're just gonna we're gonna leave it there uh, for now. Um, and the first thing we're just gonna do is we're gonna run our 150. Well, I shouldn't say that. We're gonna run our 5,000 lineups with no restraints. Actually, we'll make a minimum salary 47.5 just because that's a, what the default is, and we'll make one little change. Instead of the default, we'll go to 150 max. Uh, we're also going to put in, uh, this is just the decision I made, is to put in don't use opposing fighters. Okay, As the default, that looks good to me. There could be cases where it's worth doing, but uh, in general, it's not. So we are going to just start by just firing these. Um, so again, what we're doing is building 5,000 lineups. And really what it's going to come down to is how we rate those lineups, okay? Um, with respect to which 150 we're gonna put in. It's gonna be 150 of these 5,000 somewhere, but we don't know which 150. Is it gonna be the 150 that just rates to have the highest median projection? No, probably not. Uh, is it gonna be the 150 that rates to have the absolute lowest ownership? Probably not. Um, but it's a constant push and pull between making good plays with making plays that are not going to be duped, which are making plays that are not going to be that highly owned. Um, so the other thing that we are going to do is we're going to do a separate build um, on the side, which I'm going to kind of surprise you with in a sec. Um, I'm going to do that on the side. And I'm going to let you know what that's going to be once we get to it. Uh, the reason why I'm doing it now is because... Um, um, which we call it. The reason I'm doing it now is because uh, last time when I said, "Oh, I'm gonna, oh, let's do this," it just took another like 20 minutes. So I'm gonna build that kind of on the side. And actually, it's so funny I can't do it while this build is being made, which is a little annoying. Um, so it's a 13, and as this is going on, I'll just kind of talk through a couple of things. So it is a 13 fight card, which means we're probably going to have to prioritize upside, you know, and, and fortunately the, the these algorithms and these tools kind of do that for you, depending on what um what settings that you use. But you wanna you want a reminder of who the good plays are. Okay, so Isaac Dolgarian's a good play. He's 8,500. he's got a lot of uh line value now as well as finishing upside and takedowns. I mean, he's I mean to be clearly the best play on the slate. Uh, and then, as far as these big favorites, I mean, they're all pretty similar, you know, like, and Jiku is just big win odds, which is great, might not have that one, he might not have a, a, enough grappling to go with his, you know, knockout potential to make him the smash play of the year. Mike Davis, on the other hand, he might have enough takedowns to be the same as Njiku, so I think they're very similar. Moise is a little bit worse, but he's fine. Mirashad a little bit worse, but he's okay. Chase on not as good. Uh, Giorgio not as good. Battle not as good. 
Pelio is pretty good. It's got you know some some submission upsides. The main event is is fine. Uh, Calabao is probably you know according to the metrics is going to be a fade. B bad inside the distance line. Same with Nunez. Uh, originally, this McKenna Amarim fight looked pretty good. As a matter of fact, it still looks okay. Um, as probably the better of the mid range fights between that one and the Nunez fight. And so that's not bad. Lusa is going to be a good underdog with his first round potential and his takedowns. That's going to be really strong. Chandler might be a popular sort of underdog, but but uh, I don't think she has a lot of upside here. Silva is probably going to be an okay underdog just because of his volume in his last fight. And C-Rod might be good leverage against uh, Dolgarian because of Dolgarian's popularity, but he doesn't really have too much you know, huge ceiling. Osborne, you know, first rounder boss, so I guess he's okay. Barbarina, if anything, he's just got some leverage. Keon side, probably the worst play on the slate because she has no leverage and her metrics are bad. Levy doesn't really win often enough here, I don't think. Mitch Ramirez doesn't win often enough. Uh, Saint Pru probably doesn't win often enough. So these are like the best. These are those are who were good plays and were bad plays. That's not enough because I mean let's let's talk through this a little bit. So Oban Saint Pru I just said is a bad play, right? He doesn't win often enough. How often does he win? I mean, he wins about 12% of the time, I guess. And if he's going to be 5% owned, he's just going to have to probably show up in some of these 150. Um, it's just it's just the way it is. And that's what you got to get used to with, with these playing these 150 maxes or playing just, I don't say bad plays, but playing plays that just, you know, seem to have you know, not very good chances to win because when they do win, just the payoff is just is just very very high, and how is Saint Peru winning without honestly getting like a knockout? Here? You know he's he's gonna win with a big old you know lucky knockout I guess over Hinge Club. So if that happens. Is it gonna happen? Probably not. But if it does, I mean you're gonna want to be on it. Um, so this is why we don't, and this is point of contention. Whatever. There's a lot of really really great players don't play this way. But I, at least for the majority of my lineups, are not going to X anybody out, okay? With with an exception, I'll tell you in a second. I'm not going to just manually X people out. If I actually get zero of someone, then I'll live with it, okay? But um, aside from that, I'm not going to manually X anybody out because you just never know. <laughs> you just never know. And that's why you trust your projections and you trust your ownership and you trust whatever is that nobody has a 0% chance to win. And when you're playing 150, you have to account for all of that. Um, maybe I should just pause this. Since I'm recording it, I guess there's no point in talking about nothing, but I'm not talking about nothing. So what's going to, what's going to show up after these 5,000 lineups are created is your initial ranking. And what the initial ranking is going to show you is the ranking by what they call MMA default. And we'll show that in a minute. And it, it's kind of a misnomer because it's really nobody's default, right? It, it's nobody's default rankings are the MMA default settings. I don't know why they call it that, but because the MMA default settings in Saberson are just about as aggressive as you can imagine. Uh, they, they, they really prioritize ceiling and, and lineup ceiling, uh, and, and really ding you if you're highly owned. And if you get used to, you know, if you play a lot of MMA default, uh, builds, you're never going to get the guys that you, that you want to play. And that's just the way it is. For example, let's look at this. So I just went over who the best plays are, right? So when we're ranking these by MMA default, where are any of those guys in this list? Nowhere. The only guys you're seeing is Mike Davis, really. And that's only because, again, maybe his ownership is a little bit too low. Um, but you're seeing, like, all these guys. Like, Cal well, Moises looks pretty good. Kali Bao, he said was one of the worst plays. C-Rod, not a lot of upside. Uh, Chirod, whatever. Chason. Kiansad, I said, was the worst play on the slate. And when you rate it by MMA default, you'd be getting 34%. Right? So what do you do, first of all, with this setting? Like, when you see this. I can only tell you what I will do, and I'm going to play some of these, all right? And a lot of it is just the trust 
of the system and the trust of the algorithm. I have nothing else to say about it. You know what I mean? Like, uh, uh, I if, if, if this is algorithm is building for ceiling and factoring in ownership, and I'm trying to beat, you know, 100,000 people or whatever, I'm going to want some of these lineups. Okay. So the question is, how many are we going to do? We're going to, for the purposes of this, we're going to play 30. So 30 of the 150 that I put in are going to be these lineups. So there's a couple of ways I could save these. One is by uh, is by uh, putting my favorites. And the other is just by downloading them to a file. I'm going to do both, actually. So let's save these. I'm just going to call these MMA default. And it's, I think it's important to not look at what these are. And you may feel, what, what the hell are you talking about? But I think it's important. Uh, MMA default uh, 30. And we, we have the date, so that's fine. All right. Um, again, we're building a portfolio of lineups that have kind of different characteristics. All right, so the next thing I want to do is I want to rank these lineups not by MMA default. Let's go back to 150. But I want to rank them by the traditional, not traditional, but the, the kind of juicy saber score, you know, high upside lineups. And those are the sim diversity 10. And when you get into what this is, I mean, it's 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 not got enough upside, sim optimals plus 0.8 times the sum of the projections, and you add, a, you know, a negative 0.2 times average ownership, so you dig it for ownership a little bit. And this is where you get, I mean, the good plays. I mean, let's just call it what it is. This is what you get the good plays. You get Dolgarian at 50%, and that certainly makes a lot of sense. Now, what I will say, though, is that these lineups typically lack the uniqueness needed to win the 150. Okay, so it really it's a question I have every week about whether to use this setting or not. Um, but let's let's go, let's let's run the other one first. So the other one I want to run is the contest sim settings. Um, so here we're going to look at the UFC throwdown and we're going to change this to build three. What that means is that what we're doing is we're running our five thousand lineups kind of against themselves. And factoring ownership to see which lineups uh, sim the best uh, in in against all these other lineups. So then, when you're factoring in ownership and things like that, you get a little bit better sense of leverage and things like that. So let's run that. Let's see what we got. Um, so now we'll re-rate these now that we have this option by the by the sim of the UFC throwdown. And let's see what we went up with. And you end up with a very similar type of, you know, of distribution. Okay. Um, so it's a little bit, I guess it's a little tighter, I suppose. So we are going to use some of these. Now, the next question I would I would suggest is is whether I and want I to uh metal with this min unique thing. And, and what this does is just gives you a little less concentration um, of in fighters. And I do think there's enough variance in uh, MMA that I do want it to, to max this out as possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep going down to the point where I can't go anymore. In other words, you go to min uniques four, you can't do it. You can't even play 150. Min uniques three, you can. And then what I want to do is I want to go one above that. And that's a, that's a little trick that Jordan from, from Saberson kind of suggested. So uh, so we're going to play some of these. So how many of these are we going to play? Well, this should probably be the meat and potatoes, right, of what you want to play. So so let's, let's play a full 50 of these, okay? Let's, let's play a full 50 of these. So the first thing we're going to do, again, we'll save these to a file. Should be somewhere. Seem to be doing it for some reason. Why am I not being able to save this? Save. 
Well, what we could do is we could just stick it in the favorites. So you're stuck in the favorites, and there should be 50 in there. And this one we should be able, I think, to download, or maybe not. Yeah, so let's download these here. Ah, see? Tried to hide them from me. No good. So we're going to save these as, we're just call it Sims, 50 Sims. We already say that one. Yeah, we do want to. We do want to replace the. We're going to call it fifty sims. Uh, we're going to call it uh, sixteen because it's more sixteen. Okay. All right. So now we got a. Um, I'm going to save thirty for something else. The next thing I want to do is I want to build lineups that do a little bit better with uniqueness. Okay, and. What I mean by that is we're starting, let's go back to MinUniques one and back to 150. So so we have lineups that are that are you know producing well against the sims, against the simulated fields, but you're still not really getting enough uniqueness, I think. So we gotta probably do some geo mean filtering, which basically means that we're gonna force some low ownership. Um, so what we do is we get out our geo mean calculator, and again. This is available on the TrueDFS website, but it's not anything proprietary. It's just a formula. Um, and what we're trying to do is figure out how unique we want to get. Not Well, we know how unique we want to get, Well, but what kind of geo mean we want to put into the system here. So let's just remind ourselves how many were in this tournament. 31,372. So we put in 31,372 entrants. And... Let's just say minimum you know, one dupe, whatever. So we want a geo mean of 17.8 or lower. Okay. That's not going to be very easy. But let's just see. Let's filter geo mean of 18 or lower. Let's see what we get. Let's make sure we get it. We only get 93. And that, that's not a good sign, I have to say, okay? Um, that is definitely not a good sign. So maybe we, we shouldn't be like that greedy, okay? Maybe we should, if you're only getting 93 total, you can't even get 150, probably shouldn't get so greedy. So let, let's go two dupes. So we'll go 19.9. I think that's a little more, I think that's a little more uh, reasonable. So 19.9 geo mean. Okay, now we're now we're fine. Okay, so so uh, and, and and again, you probably shouldn't look and see uh, what we're doing here. But what did I say we we're going to do? So I did thirty of the uh, of the defaults. We did fifty of the sims, and then I want to do what did I say? Thirty of these or forty of these? I wanted to do I think forty of these. So let's do forty of these. And and again, it's it's it's. I think it's pretty. I think it's pretty healthy to not look and see what we have. Actually, let's we'll do just thirty of these, or or we should do twenty so we can go back to do the sim diversity stuff. Um, let's go. Let's do thirty of these, and then we'll be very you know, min unique three. I mean, we really want to get as as much variants here as possible okay um so let's use these so let's uh save these and this is not letting me do that either so we have to put these again into the favorites which is a little annoying so now as you'll see we have 80 of these so now we have to resave these this is getting kind of uh kind of frustrating here one second let me pause you for a sec So again, we kind of messed up a little bit. So now we have 80 of these in our in our favorites. And let's uh, download these and we're going to resave these. This is like getting kind of annoying because Sabres is not letting us download from the right side. So we're going to resave these as, as uh, Sims, right? So we're going to call this uh, Sims and uh, um, Geo Mean. 
80. Okay, so sims and geomean 80. So we have 80 of those. We have um, 30 of the defaults, right? So you have 110. So we have 40 left. Okay. So this is what I want to do with, I think, at least 20 of the remaining ones, maybe more. Uh, is I want to do some funny business with um, with uh, a couple of these popular underdogs. Um, we're going to do it. Actually, I'm going to do it for the remainder of the 40. And we're going to do 20 with one guy and 20 with the other. The first is going to be Isaac Bulgarian. So as you mentioned, I really like him a lot. But the problem is he's going to be really popular. So what I am willing to do is play him and leave all the money on the table that would let you get to any of these guys. Meaning that if you're going to want to play both Dolgari in the lineups I'm about to suggest, you're going to have to not play and Jiku, all these guys who might, depending on what optimizers people are using, have a higher raw points projection than Dolgari. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to do a new build where we do 20 lineups with Dolgarian, leaving 900 on the table, okay? And that's nasty, okay? But um, uh, I think I want to do it. The other thing I might do is, is I was thinking of this Lusa play. So I was going to do the same thing with Anj Lusa because I just figured he was going to be really popular. But... I guess 30%, is that enough to be worried about it? I think it is. So what I'm going to have to do with him is something similar. Like I'll play Lusa at 76 and again, leave enough money on the table that otherwise would have gotten to Brian Battle. But the problem is, is that Brian Battle himself is not going to be really popular, you know? Um, his projection is only 56 anyway. So... I don't think I need to do that with, with Lusa. I don't think you're going to get the same, you know, the same juice out of that. So uh, we are going to do that with uh, Dolgarian, though. It's a question. Why don't do a full 40? That's a big stand on Dolgarian if I do that. So let's, let's go ahead and not do that. Let's just do 20. So what we're doing, again, we're going to do a new build. I'm going to upload the projections again. Maybe, we'll do Maybe I will do 40. Really, really, really sneaky with the Bulgarian player. We do 30, but we're really going to have to get leverage. We have to play the other 10 with, with, with C Rod if we do this. Yeah, let's let you want to go for it. We're 25 15. And again, there's no there's no real answer here. So this is what we're going to do. We are going to lock in. Isaac Dolgarian for this build. And then we we're going to build 25 lineups. We don't need to do too many. And have a max salary of 49,100. Uh, 49, this way, this way, all lineups that were otherwise could have had Dolgarian could get all the way up to Enjiku if, if they want to. Okay. So we're really messing around with the uh, with the optimizer players here, and let's see what happens. So let's build. I mean, we don't have to be that 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 fancy here. We don't have to do MMA default at all. We can just go straight to MMA diversity and just do the best plays here, um, and uh, and just kind of rock the house. So, as a matter of fact, we're getting to Enjiku in these lineups um, because we're not getting to some of these other high price ones. So let's uh, let's uh, save these. We can still not letting me. Oh, there it is. 
So we're going to call this 25. Um, well, I'll, I'll remember what they are. We'll call them 25 Bulgarians. 25 uh, Bulgarians. Bulgarians. Uh, and then I think what we're going to do, I think I am going to do what I was saying with, with, uh, with Musa. And actually, no, the other ones we're just going to have to lock in, I think, because I think we're playing way too much Bulgarian. I think for the last 15, I'm either going to lock in Z-Rod or I'm going to do the same bit of funny business with, with Lusa and the 15. Hmm. Let's just lock in Rodriguez for the remainder of these. Oh, wait, we got to have to rebuild, right? So we're going to new build. And then we're going to go, um, what's his name? Let's just make sure first that we don't have, uh, sometimes they'll do this to me. I'll, I'll, I'll relock. What's his name? Okay, that's fine. So we could, we could, let's, let's just, let's just lock in right We'll lock in the Regas for these 15 lineups. Just make sure we have enough of leverage against this Bulgarian play. Or do we want to do the Lusa? I, I really don't know. So if we locked in Lusa, where is he? Let's see what the projections look like. Like, who would I? He has such a good projection. Actually, his projection is not great. So, 60. McKenna, we would get to. Yeah, so all these guys above him, we would get to. Um, including battle. So, we could just go ahead and do that. Let, let's, let's play him again and leave 900 on the table in some loose lineups. And no other whatever. We only we really we don't need to even build that many. We'll build like 150. And we're just gonna play the best plays. We're gonna play the Sin Diversity 10 ones. And we'll go Saber Source, Sin Diversity 10. And what, these are the, these are the guys we're gonna play. I, I don't even know who they're gonna be, but yeah, this this all looks good. Okay, so let's uh, download these, and we're gonna call these uh, Lucas or fifteen Lucas. So let's see what we have. And there's one little, one more thing that we have to do here. Let's go back to MMA. So we have 50 Sims, we have 80 here. And then, so these are technically 150 lineups, but that doesn't mean that there are 150 lineups because it's possible that some of these are going to be duplicated within one, you know, uh, within both all four you know, portfolios. So what we have to do is, is figure out how to, how to filter for that. And if these are the first lineups that I was putting into the DraftKings lobby, it would, um, it would have, uh, it would, it would filter that out. Okay. But because it, there are already lineups in there, I need to kind of do this manually somehow to figure out there are no dupes. So fortunately I have a tool that allows me to do that. Um, so let's, let's first combine all these files. So it's going to be first, the, we're going to start with the MMA default. And then we're going to add the Sims Geomean 80. So we'll add this one. And 
That's on the other side. Sorry about that. To that one. And then we're going to add the 25 Dolgarians. And by that, we mean the 25 Dolgarians that leave all that money on the table. Then we're going to leave, and then we're going to add the 15 looses. And again, those looses are the ones that are leaving money on the table. And now I have 150 lineups now raw, but I need to find out how many of those are kind of duped. So I could just upload these into this into DraftKings, but I want to flex my uh, this this tool I have here, which is the dupe test tool. Which again, I still haven't been able to figure out how to put it online yet. Um, and what I do is I add all these lineups to this one panel over here, and what this will then do. We have a macro here that will filter out all lineups which are repeated. And we'll see. If I have actually actually 150, that'd be great. So I have five extra. Okay. So what it did is it removed. It gave me those five extra duped lineups. Now, one thing that you could, you know deduce actually i was about to say that they're really good if they're in multiple portfolios no it doesn't actually work that way. um so what we're going to do is we are going to just use these 145 and we're going to try we'll create like five more maybe from using one of those other things i don't want to bore you with that and then uh we're just going to put those in and again the important thing to remember is that what I've done is 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 really trusted the system and trusted my early projection and trusted my early reads and did a little bit of funny business with those other you know two plays, Lusa and uh, whatever. But I did not actually look at see even who I had, and I think that's in a way healthy <laughs> um, for a lot of reasons. But we'll 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 see. So what we're going to do is we're going to make these intentionally duped here so that we know which ones we have to deal with. Um, and we're going to upload these, and I'll do my big buy-in separately. Hope that helped give you some ideas on how to use SaberSim and the tools available to you. And uh, aside from that, good luck, everybody.